Thanks for joining us today at 5. We are now in week three of the United Auto Workers strike, and it could have serious effects in Central Texas. Yeah, already some ramifications here at home. 25 News reporter Adam Schindler has more. The UAW has been on strike for weeks, and small auto shops like this one in Coppers Cove are starting to feel it. The United Auto Workers Union has been on strike since September 15. It's basically a, a, a typical dispute between management and labor over uh, wages and, and uh, hours and, 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 and various other things. They are taking on the three biggest automakers in the U.S. and doing it in stages instead of one massive walkout. They seem to do it in ways they hope will give them a strategic advantage. They did. They cut out some of the part suppliers initially or in the second phase, and then they tried to hit some of the more popular brands of, of autos. So they're trying to do it fairly strategically as they go along. The problem with that second phase you mentioned is the mechanics that need those parts to do their job. September is always typically slower, um, but over the last week for sure we've seen some significant impacts on the way we conduct business. Bruce and his team at Texas Discount Automotive are in the business of fixing cars. Cars that cannot be fixed without parts. We had a Ford pickup that needed a transmission replacement, um, and the transmission was not readily available. We contacted the supplier, and the supplier said four to six weeks. Well, they called us up the next day and said, hey, that four to six weeks is no longer going to be valid. And we were looking at maybe two to three months, uh, and they cited the United Auto Workers. Right. That's just one of several examples of providing the necessary parts for repairs weeks behind. This is leading to thousands of lost visits. The customers that are paying for repairs are paying for the roof. ended up costing that customer about $1,500 more than it would have if that dealer would have been able to order it out of the Dallas warehouse. For this particular but Again, he mentioned to me, I can order it out of the Dallas warehouse because they're on strike. So that's a direct impact to the customer. Bruce and his team understand uh, why the strike is happening, but want sure customers to understand the impact it is having on them. The bottom line, the longer the strike goes on, the harder it's going to be for mechanics to get the parts they need to fix your car. And the folks here at Texas Discount Automotive are just asking for a little patience in the process. In Coppers Cove, Adam Schindler, 25 News. Studies show the strike against the big three cost $3.95 billion in the, in the first two weeks. Now, it cost about $1.6 billion in the first week.